You see him? <gasps> Look, you see the car now? But I already got the bobbin wound. And I already wound a whole bunch of bobbins. Yeah, and I'm gonna do two quilts with this color. So, even though this thread is king tut, and then I go slow and I go fast. Slow and then fast. Yeah, she's good. Um, I check every single thread that I change, and I only change the thread types with the different quilt. So I'm gonna put her on here. Then I believe this is me. Look at my client's paperwork. She wanted okay. She wanted a certain pattern on there. Her name's Fish Topia. Um, it's 4.36. I started at 4.25, so it took me 10 minutes to get the quilt ready. Now keep in mind, I had already um, done winding the bobbin and put the quilt back on the leaders. So I already did some work while I was working on this. Like right now, I have a couple leaders that are free. I'm going to put... I have two leaders that are free. I'm gonna put two quilt tops backs on these so I can get them ready. Cause I wanna see if I could get three done today. I'm hoping for three. I may only get two. <laughs> Cause I feel the pressure. If you hear the winder, it'll stop in a second. <laughs> All right. I am working on this beauty. I started at 4.39. It took me like 10 minutes to set it up. I'm winding bobbins right now, trying to work on five quilts, getting the bobbin wound for five quilts. And I have the leaders on four quilts. So one of the things that helped me in getting things moving quicker is getting work like bobbin wound and back fabric on leaders. And honestly, I love the system, best system ever for else. So I just finished rolling. I'm going to finish rolling this quilt and get it going. She, I started at 439 and it's 530 and I'm on row three. And this design is pretty densely quilted. It is really dense. Um, so one of the things I did is I speeded up the the, the machine um, by five, five, five <laughs> stitches. So it stitches like 65 stitches per minute, I think. And I moved it up to 70. And so I'm going to like get this going. A lot of times, well before when I work from home, people don't consider that you're working because you're home, right? But now people work from home and one of the things that's hardest to manage, it's your time, time. Um, so for example, because I work from home, I have to do stuff for my family and my kids and they take a lot of time. And then it's easy to procrastinate, which I have to deal with. And uh, the time gets, just flies by because I'm not on a set schedule. I'm on my own schedule, you know what I mean? Hello, it is late, kind of, and I have finished another quilt. I'm going to take this quilt off, this one, and I'm gonna put another one on there. I got this quilt done. I wanna get, uh, look how beautiful it came out. I am going to clean the motor mounts, motor brushes. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. 
I'll show you how I clean them. I'm having issues with the machine going forward. It could be I need to put a brand new gasket on my thing. So put this here. Before I put a new quilt on, I'm just gonna fold this. I'm gonna clean my brushes. I'll show you how I clean them. So these, ooh, it's warm. This is what holds the brushes. She's not yet so warm. She was clacking, clack, 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 clack. So I'm gonna turn everything off and then I'm gonna clean these brushes. Probably in this video, I'm also gonna add how I put a brand new belt. Damn, she's hot. She's warm. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So I'm gonna take the brushes out with how you take them out. Don't forget, let her know what you're doing. That's why it's good to film. Cause so there's the that brush. And it just kind of slides out like that. Okay. Right? That's this end. How did it go in? She goes in this way. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna do the other side. What I wanna do is kinda of just clean the grime on the brushes. So this is how it comes out and she just pulls out. These are brushes. Then you get batting and your air sprayer. Maybe I shouldn't do this. And you're removing any grime that's built up in the motor. And I'm also gonna do it on this end. You This one's not as dirty. You can see it's not as dirty. And the, everything's unplugged, so. Yeah. So. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Don't put it in backwards. Why? Dumb with it. Let's do the other side. It only has one way to go in. Man, this thing's been beautiful. You can also clean the brush itself. Supposed to sit in there. That was just torture, wasn't that? Tighten that down. So, this is what you get, and you're cleaning the brushes. I'm having some issues with my long arm where I'll work, and out of nowhere, it just stops. And I have a feeling like my belt isn't, it's old. I haven't had a new one put on there in years. So this is the material you're gonna need. Two Allen wrenches, um, crescent wrench, the belt, and some batting. I really do recommend that you have another person help you. Not necessarily putting the belt on, but putting this back on. And I'm gonna take this cover off. Long arm, you have these little Allen wrench bolts. That's what's in, bolted here. So I've never done this or taken it off. So these were really tight. 
So what I did is I put this in like that and I got one of these suckers and popped it loose. So right now they're real loose and I'm just going to take them off. So right now I'm going to just loosen it. There they are. There's one, and there's two. And so this is what my screws look like. And let me show you how filthy. I've literally haven't cleaned it ever. Look at that, look at this gross. Okay, hold on. So I'm gonna clean the cage. Look at that bad, look at that. Wow. <laughs> she looks. I've, I've had the long arm since 2009. I got the, I ordered it in 2008, but I got her in, look at that. I got her in 2009. I have never changed the belt. My belt. I don't want you to see how dirty this is. <laughs> and look how dirty she is over here. Yeah, she's real bad. <laughs> um, lean it. And then I already... And there's the belt. And she's really old. Look at that. Look how dirty she is. So I'm gonna just clean all this area. <laughs> this belt was so bad. So she's really dirty. Even after I cleaned her, I was thinking that maybe needed alcohol or something to go through here. Hmm. Carrie and I have an Allen wrenches here to hold the nut in place. We're going to jigger two people to see how we could put it together. Okay, wait. So then you pull the nut back a bit. Slide it. Slide it. And it's gone. Is yours in there? Yeah. Did the magnet help? Mm -hmm. Okay. Chihole. <laughs> Let me just say this. To add the two bolts on the inside, I recommend you have two people with the same Allen wrench working it in together, because that's what I did. And if she screwed hers on, I screwed my on, because it's very difficult to do this with one person. Lasted me a good, a good amount of years, let's just say. 